Resoliva Booking Engine and Channel Manager. Guide to Building a Hotel Website. This video is a short tutorial about the essentials of building a hotel website, whether you are making it on your own or hiring someone for this job. The first step in building a website is choosing a domain name. Like everything else, the trend for successful domain names has also changed in recent years. Nowadays, with the dominance of giant sites like Booking.com and TripAdvisor, being near the top in Google searches with major location searches such as Rome Hotels is no longer possible. What matters now is to come at the top for searches made with the hotel name. This requires two things, using hotel or similar words in the domain name to avoid confusion with other businesses and using the location name to avoid confusion with other similar named hotels. Moreover, having the location name in the domain when the geographical location is a niche with a small number of hotels can still have a significant effect in getting the website up into the top positions. When it comes to domain name extensions, there are far too many of them nowadays. This makes having a .com extension even more important and should even be preferred over country extensions such as .de, .it, co.uk, etc. Hyphens in the domain name should also be avoided. The second step in building a website is finding a hosting service. Hosting companies offer different plans with varying parameters such as disk space and bandwidth, etc. Hardly any of these are actually important for a hotel website because their expected usage will be minimal. What matters most will be the quality of the server and how close it is to customers, which is usually independent of the hosting plan offered. As a result, the smallest plan is likely to suffice for an average size hotel, and this will be in the 20 to 50 US dollars per year price range. The third step is actually building the website itself. Even though there is an infinite number of ways of doing this, for a small business like a hotel, we can reduce these to three. Hand coding by HTML, using a content management system, or using an online website builder. These methods vary in complexity and cost, and depending on the situation, any one or other may be suitable. Let's go into their details now. HTML, as well known, is the building block of all websites. Although hand coding by HTML offers complete flexibility, manually coding a website is off limits to busy hoteliers, so this option implies working with the webmaster but this does not necessitate completely losing control to the webmaster regarding the structure and visual design of the website. Many webmasters use ready-made templates for their designs, and it is possible to search for these on the internet beforehand, and after finding a preferred one, give it to the webmaster to work with. The flexibility of HTML, to a great extent, allows tweaking the template too, for exact preference and needs. On the negative side, this method is the most expensive one. Content management systems offer the second option for building a website. They were initially created for sites where content changes frequently, such as blogs and news outlets, and allowed updating by lay people without having them come close to the code. Different themes, that is, different appearances, were created over time, and this made content management systems attractive for other, more simple uses, such as small business websites as well. Today, content management systems are used on a wide scale ranging from government websites to big brands. Each content management system has different pros and cons, but the common advantage for all is that it is very easy to add or update content. One of these systems, WordPress, was originally designed as a blog site, but has grown to be the most used web system in the world. It is thought that about a quarter of the sites around the globe are using WordPress as of 2017. What is more, WordPress comes free as an open source software. Well, actually, it has a paid version too, called WordPress.com, 
rather than the free wordpress.org, but for the moment, we will ignore this. Content management systems are also extremely flexible and customizable. It is usually possible to switch between themes, that is, appearances, with the click of a button. The same is true for adding functionalities as well. The add-ons used for this are called plugins, and they can be added to the website with the click of a button. There are about 50,000 of them offered free of charge at the WordPress site, covering a wide range of topics, from Google Analytics to newsletter sign-in. That is a capability beyond what any custom-built website could ever reach. Themes and plugins can be free or paid. The paid ones, being called premium, usually sell at a price range between 30 to 80 US dollars. Assuming that one premium theme and plugin will be used for a WordPress site, implementing the whole site would cost around $100 US. Content management systems are quite simple to set up and customize and can be learned in a few days. But it is also possible to hire someone for this job, and this will cost substantially less than hiring someone to code an HTML site in the 100 US dollars range. Online web building systems are a third option in building a website. They are quite similar to content management systems, but they are even simpler. So much that one can begin setting up the site in no time. They require absolutely no technical skills because the design is handled using a drag and drop interface. Moreover, they also take charge of the hosting and thereby technical maintenance. Naturally, however, they charge for these services, which is in the 15 to 25 US dollars range monthly. They also lag behind content management systems in flexibility and customization and offer a narrower choice of add-ons and themes than the leading CMSs. One thing to keep in mind is that both content management systems and online website builders, unlike HTML websites, are not inherently multilingual. To add other languages, add-ons can be necessary and the system should be compatible with this. This is extremely critical to check beforehand. If we laid out all those pros and cons of different website building methods, we would get this table. Here we see that content management systems are doing a little better than others, but this should be taken only as a guide, not a definitive result, since everything depends on the specific needs and requirements of the hotel. For example, for many hotels, cost isn't an issue, and frequent updates and the need for extensions are unlikely, which would make the HTML method as good as the others. This video was about building a hotel website. For qualities that a hotel website must possess, please watch our next video.